Hey guys, Nikolai here. Today's video is sponsored by ProGuides. If you ever dreamed of being as good as Faker, ProGuides can help you out. This is a platform made for you to reach your dream rank, with guides and courses for any concept you're struggling with. And if you happen to have any questions, you can use Genius, where a master or challenger player will answer any questions you have. ProGuides is now free to use and there's no better time to join than today. Check the first link in the description to get started. Now with that being said, let's jump into Faker. Hi guys. <laughs> All throughout sports, there is always at least one figure who people point at and say that person is the best. And for the past six years in League of Legends, that person has been Faker. Now, this video won't be about why he's considered the best or anything like that. Instead, I want to take Faker and really look into his numbers, specifically everything to do with the champions that he decides to choose in his battles. However, Faker has played a total of 667 games as of making this video and has used 62 unique champions. So instead of breaking down each champion individually, we're going to make things more concise and break this video down into 7 categories. Starting with one of the most exciting things in League of Legends, Pentakills. On January 7th, 2015, Faker locked in LeBlanc and got his first ever Pentakill. Four years ago. Since then, Faker has obviously played many more games and achieved many more pentakills. But what makes this special? Uh, hello? Wait, slow down. Oh, well, I just got informed that this is actually Faker's only pentakill. Now, some of you watching might be patting yourselves on the back right now for having more pentakills than Faker. But remember that this is a pentakill in a competitive professional game. He definitely has gotten more than just one pentakill in solo queue. Yo, pentakill! However, that's not necessarily an excuse for his low count of pentakills. This is how Faker's pentakill record stands in comparison to some of the other well-known pro League of Legends players. Popular AD carry and face of Fnatic, Reckless, has 8 pentakills in his pro career. Cosplay extraordinaire Sneaky has 3, TSM mid laner Bjergsen has 4, and Team Liquid's own Doublelift holds the record for most pentakills in professional play with 10. Concert throws back. Uni goes down, now it's gonna be on a Wild Turtle, they try to get him, he flashes oh, forward! Flashes. That's gonna be the hit, Wild Turtle's getting the ricochets now! And a double lift rather, I should say, and it's the triple kill! Going forward in the fight, can they catch Gold Bowser? That's gonna Passive. be the hit! The passive is on, do they turn around for the kill? Haunts are fighting a minion, almost goes down! Double lift brings up the pentakill! The most pentakills in LCS history for double lift. Moving on, undefeated. For Faker to be so often called the greatest League of Legends player, he would have to win more than he loses. And he does. Faker's career win-loss record is 329 victories and 171 defeats. 20 of those victories come from champions which he has never lost on. Those champions are on the screen right now. Although, four of these champions were hit it and quit it situations for Faker. Faker got his victory with them and never played them ever again. Of course though, the odds of playing a champion only one time and being undefeated aren't too crazy. But his highest undefeated record actually comes from Riven. Faker has played Riven six separate times and has come out victorious every single time. But not everything is sunshine and rainbows for Faker. Because everything must have a flip side. The unwinnables. Faker has exactly 10 champions that he has only played one time, lost, and then never played them ever again. It would seem that if you let Faker down when he decides to give you a shot, you might never get that shot again. Except for Swain. Faker has picked Swain in three different instances, but despite Swain getting three different shots to prove himself, all of these games have resulted in defeats. Most played. Despite Faker having chosen Syndra, Ryze, and Zed for his skins after the times that he has won worlds, only one of those champions are in his top 10 most played champions. And surprisingly, although having iconic performances with Zed, LeBlanc, and some others, Faker's most played champion is actually Orianna, with 58 games, 39 wins, and 19 losses. Right behind her is actually KFC manager Azir with 45 games, 30 wins, and 15 losses. 
Also, I should mention that although Zed isn't one of Faker's most played, he is the champion that holds Faker's highest win rate, with 11 wins and 1 loss. And okay, listen, I know this doesn't have much to do with the video, but I was going to show a clip of Faker's only defeat as Zed. But while watching the video, I couldn't get past the screaming in the background. Take a look for yourself. Rock Slikers going in, they catch Wolf, do a ton of damage, do a great Fates call up with that slicing Maelstrom fight for the Rock Slikers. Double kill goes Duke, it will be. Next up, most kills. I think this is something most people would be interested in. So the most kills Faker ever got in a competitive game was 15 with LeBlanc. After coming back to do a reverse sweep in a best of five match in the 2015 LCK playoffs. Also going hand in hand, most deaths. The most times Faker has died in one game is actually just eight on Talon in 2014. And it's the only time he has died eight times. Which, honestly, I feel like I get 8 deaths on average, so that makes me sad. Now finally, I suppose this is more of an honorable mention, but most CS. Now I, I know what you're thinking, CS is not that exciting, but when I took a look into it, I thought this was pretty insane. So I think it should be mentioned. On January 20th, 2018, SKT T1 played against Jin Air. And in this game, together they set the record for the longest professional League of Legends game ever. This one game lasted 1 hour and 34 minutes. In this game, Faker was playing as Cassidin, and during those 94 minutes, Faker was able to get 835 CS, his most ever. But this game unfortunately was a defeat for SKT, and Faker's CS kind of ended up being the reason they lost. You would think that with over 800 CS that you wouldn't need to farm anymore at least not do any risky farming. But while most of his team was bundled up together, at minute 93, Faker was solo farming bot lane and got caught. This of course led to SKT throwing their 94 minute Let's game. Waiting. He's got 182, he's getting there. <laughs> the Kenj has been unbenched and we now officially have the longest game of all time. Yeah. Once again confirmed by Joel. Thank you very much, Joel. Keep up the Discord, it's great. As we go back to this game, still not 100% certain who will win is... Oh, this is going to be a lot of damage. Finger. Yeah, so much damage. Sonya's going to go out. He's going to have to try to get out of here. Just for good measure, another redemption coming through. But Umpty chases in. One more hit. Him. He takes him down. The solo kill from Umpty. Not even losing the Guardian Angel. Jin Air, one member dead. You can see Umpty getting popped off there in they the They know booth. this is their time, Achilles. This could very well be it. I'm going to go extremely ahead. healthy. Has 30 another seconds on Faker. in. Working on that first turn, it's gonna go down, Faker dead still, as you say, and I think they might have finally done it. Wolf goes in, flag and drag, tries to get the pop up, so there's no follow up. Nexus now exposed, Jin Air, I think they've finally done it! 94 and a half minutes on the clock, they take it home! And Jin Air Greenwings take down SKT! But alright guys, now you know that no matter how great you are, you're never too special to throw a game over some delicious farm.